What is going on everybody? Noble here with you guys today. Today we're gonna start a playthrough of a game that I've actually tried to do in the past. Now this is a game called Forager and I absolutely love the art style. That's the reason that I wanted to try this out. I should also mention that in the past I got a code for this for PC, but as you guys know, I absolutely suck at PC and uh, was unable to continue trying to play through it. So uh, I do wanna thank the developers for given me a code, but this game released today on the Nintendo Switch, which is where I'm playing it, as well as on PlayStation. Now, if you guys are trophy fans, you might wanna go ahead and pick it up on PlayStation. I personally picked it up with my own money because they had already given me a code. So I went ahead and picked it up with my own money on the Switch because I think the portability of it is gonna be great. So we're gonna try again, start a brand new game and see how far we can actually get into this. So let's go ahead and start a brand new game. Again, I absolutely love the art style. And basically this is one of those games, uh, it's been compared to Stardew Valley and uh, some other games, which to be completely honest with you guys, I have never played, so I don't know what to compare it to, but I do really like it. So let's go ahead and start off first. We've got an attack here and uh, we've got our pickaxe and this is a resource gathering type game where you try to gather resources, build stuff, expand your land, and stuff like that. <coughs> so I don't really know what we're gonna be doing. I don't, uh, again, like I never really got that far into it over on the PC side, but I'm hoping that now that I have a controller in my hand, I'll be able to go ahead and do a little bit better. So we're just gonna try to clear as much of this out. Uh, everything kind of respawns and regenerates uh, whenever it kind of wants to so you're always gonna have some sort of resources to be trying to gather and we're gonna start building some stuff here pretty quick let me just uh, try to clear this little area out now I sh should mention I don't know why I stuttered right there I should mention that uh, I also tried this out a little bit ahead of time on the switch in handheld mode and uh, it works perfectly i absolutely love it once again that's why i picked it up on the switch the fact that i can take this game anywhere as well as a lot of other indie games that i've picked up on the switch the reason that i'm doing that now instead of picking it up on the playstation is uh just because i can take it anywhere with me and enjoy the games so let's go ahead and start building something here we're actually about to level up so we should be pretty good there uh i'll get a little bit more stuff i need some more energy uh, you do have health in this game, and uh, it goes down, but you can go ahead and pick up berries and fruit, and I think later on you can get uh, other types of food as well. So, we're about to level up here, and then we'll start building. Let's get started by building a furnace. We'll do that in one sec. Don't you tell me what to do, bro, bro. All right, so we'll go ahead and pop this last one so that we can go ahead and level up once, and then we'll go ahead and build the first thing. So in order to build, we can move over here and we've got uh, industrial here. We're gonna build a furnace. We need 10 stone for that. We've already got that. Um, I try to keep them in the center from what I learned from my PC plays. Uh, try to keep them in the center because if you build them on the edge, sometimes you get some resources that spawn behind it and it's just really hard to get back to them. So I'm gonna go ahead and place this here and uh, we can do a forge as well. We need iron ingots and brick. So first things first, we gotta learn how to actually make that. Uh, brick, we need coal and stone, so we can uh, make some coal for sure. I think there's a button, isn't there a button to make like the most of something? Okay, so if you press the X button on the Switch Pro Controller, that gives you the max amount of things that you can make. So I'm gonna make uh, as much coal as I can there. And in the meantime, I'm actually gonna try to build two furnaces because I think that'll help us get things that we want to a little bit quicker so while that's doing that I need to gather some more stone and we'll set that up here in a sec we'll also go ahead and spend uh, some of our skill points here in a second so I'm gonna break that other stone and see if I have enough for one more furnace real quick All right, so let's get some food in us. Again, you do want to keep an eye on that. I think you lose hearts if you go too long without food. So that could be a problem. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can build another furnace. 
There we go. I might have gotten the way there. Let me move a little bit out of the way and build another furnace. I'm going to try to build three. I don't want to build them side by side, but that would work. Let me tear down that tree real quick. Now I can put another one right next to it. And that'll help us be able to build things a little bit quicker. We'll be able to get more resources out that way. Industry, furnace, boom, boom. That is beautiful. I love that right there. Now, we do need a forge as well. Also, let's go ahead and start spending some of our skills. We've only got one skill point right now. But from what I've seen on other people's playthroughs is that this uh, skill tree expands ridiculously large. So uh, I think what I'm going to do right now, because we do want to buy some more land, is I'm going to go into economy. I'm going to instantly gain 40 coins, and that should allow us to buy more land, which lets us expand the areas that we can go ahead and explore. So we've got that there. Uh, I should try to expand the land. I'm going to do that, but let me see if I can build a, uh, what was it, a forge, I think? Okay, so in order to build a forge, we need four iron ingots and four brick. All right, so we're going to work on iron here. How many, how many of these can we make? All right, that's perfect, actually. And then here, we'll go ahead and make brick. We, we, can, only, we can only make one, are you kidding me? Why one? Ah, because we don't have enough stone. Okay, so we need to get some more stone real quick. And the good thing about stone is that it comes basically in any rock. Even though you get gold out of this, sometimes you'll get gold and rock as well as coal and rock and stuff like that. So uh, right now I'm just getting coal, man. I need some more stone. Give me a regular rock. Okay, we got four stone out of that, actually. Uh, let's see what else we got here. There we go. We got five more stone. I'm not sure if that's five stone or five stone total. We'll figure that out here in a sec, though. All right, we got another skill point. Uh, we need more uh, brick. So we need to get some more stone. I think I, I lack one stone right now. All right, so we've got, here's another stone right here. There's one, okay. So we just had one pop up, so that should allow us to make the last brick that we need. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna need more than one forge or not, but I think we're gonna start off with one forge and then see what else we have to make or what else we can make from it. So, there we go. Give me three more brick and then we'll be good. In the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and buy some more land and spend my extra skill point real quick. Let me just get this out of the way. And I don't know, this is one of those games that just, you always have something to do in this game, which I think is good. Oh dude, I have not been eating, bro. I'm on empty. That was ridiculous. All right. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to, before we build the forge, we're gonna expand our land. So we got land purchases here. We have 40 coins. That's what we got from our first upgrade. And this costs 30. So let's go ahead and do that. We've got a rainbow of some sort. And I think with each one of the lands that you get, um, I do believe there are puzzles in this game. So we're gonna figure that out. Uh, I think I might've already figured that one out just by looking at it. But we will build a forge real quick and, and actually let's see if there's anything else we can build can we build we got fish traps we got bridges don't have anything on economy don't have anything under magic let's go ahead and build a forge we can build one of these i'm not really sure where to put it uh let's just put it in the center of these because i think i'm only going to build one to begin with <coughs> we've also got a sewing station but we need brick and fiber so we need to upgrade that all right, so in order to find fiber, I think. Nope, that's not it. Industry, uh, unlocks steel, unlocks glass. I'm not sure what we should do here. Unlocks vaults, forges create four extra coins every time. I think we should go with foraging real quick, just because we're gonna need more resources. So the more resources we have, or the more, or the, the more types of resources we have, the more stuff we can unlock. Wood cutting, trees drop 50% more wood. Uh, da, 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 gain 
Okay, so I might do this one next. I'm not 100% sure yet. Okay, so can we do anything with this right now? We can build coins, we can build a key, we can do a slimy pickaxe. That sounds like something that we should get. We should definitely upgrade our pickaxe. So we need eight iron ingots and four jellies. We haven't seen any jellies yet, but I think once you expand your land, uh, some of the slimes come out and begin to attack you. So, uh, what the hell do we need? Uh, we need iron ingots and jelly. So I can work on iron right now. All, is that all I can make is just one? It's so sad. Okay, so we need to collect some iron. Hopefully some more of that stuff pops up soon. And in the meantime, we'll go ahead and check out the next island and see what we can uh, make of it real quick. So, again, like I said, each one of, the, or not each one, but some of the lands that you expand to have puzzles on them. So this looks uh, like a rainbow, very simple. We've got all the different colors of the rainbow in the mushrooms here. And I think all we have to do is match the colors. So that should be easy enough. Check this out, we got a beat right there. All right, so I don't know if we're gonna go from the top to the bottom or the bottom to the top. But let's start with the bottom and see how that works out. So what we're gonna do here is we are simply going to follow the colors. We've got purple, is that magenta or, okay. So we're gonna hit this one and then blue. And then green and then yellow. Ugh, which one's yellow? That one's yellow, I think. Yellow. And then orange and then red. Are you serious? Okay, so it must be the other way around, right? Unless I did something way wrong. Let me uh, heal up real quick. All right, let's kill this slime because we're gonna need some of those anyways. Okay, so let's try it the other way. We, let's do red, orange, which I don't remember which one was orange. That other one's orange over here orange yellow and then green blue and purple there we go okay so i just went the wrong way we got a treasure chest which is awesome except you need keys in order to open treasure chests so we're gonna have to make a key real quick and that's actually pretty good i think uh i think we might have enough material already to make a key but we still need more iron so that we can make uh or more steel no i forget what it's called we need iron or something like that to make iron ingots we'll figure that out here in a sec all right so let's see what we got we've got key we need iron ingots again and we need gold ingots oh man the iron's the part that's kicking my butt right now okay so we need uh Four iron ingots, two gold ingots. So let's make gold. I think we have enough for that. And then iron, I don't think we have enough for. We need more iron ore. I don't think we have any iron rocks that have popped up yet. So we are gonna have to wait for those to respawn. See what else we can do in the meantime. In the meantime, we do have another skill point. Maybe that can help us out. Okay, so let's... Uh, Industry unlocks steel, unlocks glass, gain XP when building structures. That would be good, I think. But I don't know if I should go with gathering also. You get four more inventory slots, which will help us like just hold more equipment. And you get 25% more XP from plants and crops. I think I'm gonna do this one. And then after this one, we'll go up to uh, whatever this was, industry. We got fishing, wheat, unlock shovel, windmills, and bread. All right, so we're kind of figuring this out as we go. We need more iron stuff though. We also need more slimes for the uh, slime thing. Here we go. I don't think this is gonna be enough to make four iron ingots, but we should definitely keep working on that. I wanna see what's inside the treasure chest. 
Now, if the slimes do hit you, you do lose a heart. And I think the only way to replenish your hearts is by catching a fairy or I think you can eat cooked food. I don't think berries and oranges and stuff will help you out. But if you're able to cook food, you should get your hearts back, I think. All right, so let's see how many more irons we can make. Oh my God, I'm only making one at a time here and I've only got, I've only got one so far. We need four of them. So this is gonna be a process. I don't think we have enough money to uh, buy more land yet. So we're gonna have to figure that out as well. Where are the iron ingots though? That's what we need right now. Uh, can we make, I don't know, can we level up to make more iron up here? That would be great. All right, so let's level up again. We're already level five. That's not bad, actually. Industry. Unlock steel, unlocks glass, gain XP when building structures. I'm going to go ahead and go for that and just hope that whenever we build more structures, we get to, uh, I don't know, get more experience, possibly earn more stuff quicker. Uh, what is this? Sewing unlocks leather, sewing station, work 25% faster. And then we've got carpentry, unlocks torches, structures cost 25% less wood. That would be great. Wait, can I not make money and buy more land? Wouldn't that be smart? Uh, can we build... Da, 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 farming, no. I haven't even unlocked a bank yet. I need to unlock a bank. Idiot. Alright, so let's... uh. I hate to do it, but let's make more coins. That way, hopefully we can buy some more land. Cause this is not working out right now. We can make eight gold. We'll turn that into coins and then possibly buy some more land. <sighs> so let's see what we get. Oh dude, we can roll. I did not know that. Look, there's some ore. Oh my God, finally. This is what we've been needing. It just took forever for it to spawn. All right, we got more over here. This is great. This is great news. Give me more of this stuff, please. All right. I kind of wish we had an ax. I feel weird hitting a tree with a pickaxe. Okay, what do we need for a key? We need four iron ingots. Can we please make iron ingots now? That would we'll just barely make the cut. I'm totally fine with that. I'm not sure if we ever, if we're gonna need that much coal or not, but I figure it's always better to have it. I just really wanna open up this chest and then we'll see what we can do next. I gotta find a way to make more money though, cause we need to buy more land for sure. Uh, what was I gonna do? I was gonna f feed myself. Oranges are actually pretty good for health. All right, so we gotta save the berries for fish traps. We're definitely gonna make that happen here in a sec. Okay, so we should have enough for a key now. Yes, thank you. Okay, so we're gonna open this up. Wait for the key to be made, obviously, and then open up the tre treasure chest and then figure out a way to get more money to expand more land. All right, so we got the key. Good deal. Oh, can you move? Nice. No way, can you break stuff with this? No. Okay. So, we've got the key. Let's see what we get here. Bam. Wait, what? Nerdy glasses, XP gained increased by 20%. I guess that's good. I don't know. Is that good? That's a little bit weird. I was expecting like money or cash or something that was going to help us out a little bit more. I do suppose gaining more experience, but I was really hoping for money. That was kind of a disappointment to be honest with you guys. Uh, we do have 26 coins. We need to figure out a way to get a bank set up. I believe a bank either gives you money or allows you to invest money and then you get more money in return so we'll figure that out here shortly 
Uh, I still want to get a slime axe, which I think we're pretty close to getting. Uh, we need eight iron ingots. Of course we need iron. Uh, let's see if we can make some. What, just one? That's all I can make right now? Damn it. All right, so we're gonna need to wait for iron. All right, we're fixing to level up here. I think we're gonna go for something that, anything, to be honest, that will allow us to make more money because we need to expand. This right here, even though it's a pretty good piece of land, I have pretty much used all the resources and we need to constantly have resources so that we can not have to wait so long. Okay, so we need more money. What can help us get more money? Coinage, uh, this forges create four extra coins every time or we can make storage which unlocks vaults. I don't know what vaults do, so I think we're gonna have to wait on that. But let's go ahead and do this, that way we can earn some more money for the coins we do make. Banking, there you go, unlocks banks. We need to do that and trade unlocks markets. We need to unlock both of those so that we can go ahead and constantly have money to keep upgrading our land. I just bought the thing that will help me make more coins. So let's do that. And then whenever we're done with that, we will expand our land and then figure out how we're gonna make banks. So I'm not sure how many how much money we're gonna make from six gold ingots, but it's supposed to make four more coins each time, and I'm not sure how many how many coins each coin is worth, if that makes any sense. So we'll just figure that out real quick. Okay, so we're gonna make coins. Let's make as many as we can. We can make seven. I'm not sure how much money that's gonna give us. Hopefully enough to buy more land. Okay, so it's 12. So each coin has gotta be worth four points then, right? No. If each coin, I can't even math right now, guys. If, if you know how, how, how much each coin is worth, let me know. I bought the upgrade that allowed us to make four more coins at a time. So maybe each coin is three? Four, 12, that doesn't make sense either. I don't know how to math, just figure it out. We are making some pretty good bank right now though. And that makes me happy. So maybe we can buy some more land and then we'll figure out what we gotta do next. 84 coins. It's 110, can we please buy some more land? Yes, land right here. 50 coins or 80 coins. Let's go, oh, or 60 coins, hmm. 110, that's perfect. I can buy these two pieces of land. So we're gonna buy these two pieces of land and then we'll figure out what we gotta do afterwards. So. Bam, expand the land. That looks way too small. That does not seem like it was worth it at all. And then this one. That looks interesting. That could definitely help out. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. Um, we'll continue on the next video. Let me know what you guys think so far. Is this a game you might be interested in picking up? Like I said, this has been out on PC for a while now. Um, I did get a code for PC. But I bought this game on my own for the Nintendo Switch. It's also available today um, for uh, the Switch and for PlayStation 4. I really wanted it on Xbox as well, but I haven't seen anything or any news about it on Xbox. So obviously, decide for yourself. Give the game a shot. It's actually really fun once you get into it. And like I said, there's always something for you to do in this game. So it's it's just a really fun little addicting game. Let's see what kind of stuff we caught in the fish traps before we finish up here. Uh, we caught a fish, that makes sense. And we caught some sand. I don't know what's, uh, sand's probably for glass. So we're gonna go ahead and end the video here. Hope you guys like it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and we will continue on the next one.